This is FE Peer Review. The date is September the 29th, 2021. Google Earth Tips for Long Distance Observations. Most of my viewers here on YouTube will probably already know this stuff. This is just a few basic tips on things you can do with Google Earth. So if you're new to Google Earth or you're new to the whole discussion about Flat Earth and you want to use Google Earth, there might be a few things here that are helpful. Please do share this if you know somebody who's new to the subject. Thank you. This is just a quick video with a few little tips on using Google Earth and long distance observations. I thought it might be useful to some of the folks that are interested in that subject. And it came about because I saw this video of Mitchell from Australia. Critical Think has done a really nice analysis of this video. And so I went and looked at Mitchell's video and then I saw a comment from a fellow named Trucker Trucker. I can see 180 miles from Navajo Dam to Albuquerque. I thought, uh, I thought that didn't quite sound correct. And so I wanted to check it on Google Earth. And when I did so, it occurred to me, this fellow trucker trucker, who seems like a very nice guy, he might, if he's not familiar with how to use these basic tools in Google Earth, a, a little video like this might be helpful. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm doing here. Well, the first thing I did was open Google Earth, and in the upper left, I typed in Navajo Dam, New Mexico search, and it took me right to the spot where I wanted to be. That way I didn't have to go wandering around on the globe trying to find it. I then used the little, in the upper left, near the upper left corner, a little uh, pin, add placemark thing. I've got my mouse up there moving around. That popped a pin onto Navajo Lake. I gave the pin a name. We'll do another one, and that saves it in my places. That makes it easy to come back to Navajo Lake. All, all I have to, well, you'll see. I'll do another pin here at Albuquerque. We'll go down here to this middle of Albuquerque and get that in the middle of our screen, and then hit that little uh, thumbtack where it says Untitled Placemark. I'll type Albuquerque, and then I'll hit OK. And now I've got another on the left where it says places. I've got another listing and it says Albuquerque. So I can just double click on one of those and it takes me to where I want to go. So now we're back at Navajo Lake. So the next thing I did was use the ruler tool. Well, I have my units set to feet and miles right now since we're looking at the United States. If you want to change the units, go to, uh, let's see, I think it's tools, options, 3D view, and then here it says units of measurement. You can change it to kilometers and meters if you want. I'm going to leave it on feet and miles. Now I'm going to use the ruler tool, which is up here at the top of the screen, and I'll move it to the side. It's going to tell me miles. I can also change it there if I want to. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type a, I'm going to click on the starting point, and I'm going to scroll out. Don't be, don't click anywhere, just scroll. And then down here, I'm going to click on my endpoint, and it'll tell me 129, about 130 miles. So that's as the crow flies, straight line. Now let's do something else. I'm going to clear that, and I'm going to do path. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click up here at Navajo Lake. Try that again. And then over here at Albuquerque. And I can, I can hit save, and it'll save that line if I want. Uh, that way, I can come back to it again. But before I hit save, I'm gonna show you something else. I can click on Show Elevation Profile, and it brings up. Okay, we see the line here, and we see, um, we see the red arrow. So the red arrow is telling us where we are on that line as we look. See the red arrow here moving. As I move my cursor along the bottom of the screen, it's telling us where on that red line these elevations are happening. So we see that our starting point up at Navajo Lake is, is about 6,070 feet. And then immediately it goes up to 68, 69, 18 feet. I'm reading off of the uh, profile at the bottom of the screen here. Drops, goes back up. Rises and rises, there's a ridge at 75, 11 feet, and we can see on the red arrow on the screen, that's near the town of Cuba. 
and then it drops a couple more ridges, drops another ridge, and then finally down into Albuquerque. So that there is very useful to map out the terrain. If you're up at the ridge just southeast of Navajo Dam at 69, 18 feet, you're going to be able to see on a, on a good day, perhaps as far as that ridge near Cuba, but that will block everything from view beyond that, according to this profile. Now, that's just a single line of profile. There might be there might be views there might be viewpoints through some kind of breaks in the in the ridges or something that allow you to see further. I would have to look at it more closely. That would just mean doing some more paths. Anyway, those are some useful tools on Google Earth that I think uh, Trucker Trucker and others who are interested in these long distance observations, if you don't know how to use them, you might want to spend a little time checking them out. Thanks. This is FE Peer Review, and if you enjoyed this little video, please do click the like button and subscribe and share it with your friends. Have a great day.